Hello everyone, glad to see you on my YouTube channel Volunteer Daily. My name is Svetoslav, I'm a volunteer from Kharkiv. I, with my family, we help uh, the residents of Kharkiv, uh, civilians and Ukrainian troops uh, doing this war with Russian Federation. Uh, you may see a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about volunteer life, you may see a lot of shorts, video reports also on my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram stories and so on and so on to see what we do in uh, Ukraine, in Kharkiv and in other cities and villages of Ukraine. Usually I describe news about Ukraine, about Kharkiv, about war, about volunteer, uh, week by week. Um, so, what about this past week? Unfortunately, we had uh, a lot of missiles attack as usual. Uh, for example, uh, Dnipro, ex Dnipropetrovsk. Some missiles arrived uh, to Dnipro, to bus station, to bus uh, uh, yes, to bus station, and destroyed it almost totally. A lot of explosions, a lot of uh, damaged buildings of uh, bus station during the night. Also, we had uh, by the, oh, during this week. We had a lot of news, uh, bad news from Kupiansk and Kupiansk region, Kupiansk uh, closest cities, uh, closest villages and so on. Kupiansk is situated close to the border with Russian Federation. There is a front line between Ukrainian troops and Russian troops and Russian tries, uh, Russians try to push uh, Kupiansk to make an assault. Uh, to storm Kupiansk and the Kupiansk region. So that is why we had uh, a lot of news from Kupiansk, a lot of uh, attacks uh, by Russians, a lot of missiles, explosion, damage by, uh, sent by Russians. And we are keep watching uh, in Kupiansk, we are receiving news every day from Kupiansk. And uh, this is very um, damageful battleground, battlefield right now in Kharkiv region. All residents of Kharkiv are watching the Kupiansk and Kupiansk situation. Also, we have a lot of people arrived from Kupiansk to Kharkiv who had to evacuate from this area because it's really, really dangerous for people to keep staying there. At the same time, we had explosions and attacks to Kyiv, to Sumy, to Zaporizhia, to Krivorog, to Odessa. During this night, this night, from Tuesday to Wednesday, we had an air attack uh, with missiles and shakeheads to Kyiv, to Zhytomyr, and to Odessa during this night. Our air defense system worked, uh, I think, uh, almost well done. We defend our sky. But still, in Zhytomyr and in Kyiv, some explosions, some missiles arrived to the targets, unfortunately. So, this is briefly news about Ukraine in general. So, we are uh, keep under attack by Russians, unfortunately. Uh, about volunteer line, life, um, we have... We had received some donation from people as usual, and we have spent already this donation to, to people who needs help and care. That uh, were people from the occupied territories, also I mentioned from Kupiansk, from Volchansk, also Volchansk, 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 sorry, uh, was damaged uh, by Russians, and people had to evacuate. Also, we had attacks to Kazachi Lopan and people had to evacuate to Kharkiv. And these people uh, need care, need help, need clothes, need medicine, need some stuff. And we were delivering products, clothes, medicine and uh, another equipment for these people, for civilians, for residents of these villages who evacuated to Kharkiv. Also, we visited our uh, families in Kharkiv, which, uh, whom we helped all, all these months of war. We visited Christina and her families, uh, where we provided some donation uh, by money. 
we uh, delivered some products, some clothes. Christina and her family right now are preparing the house for uh, for coming winter in order to spend this winter in a proper uh, in a proper condition, so to say. Yes. Also, we right now are waiting for humanitarian clothes from the United States of, of America from my friends. Uh, these clothes uh, will come to Lviv and from Lviv they will, deliver, they will be delivered to Kharkiv by post and we are waiting for these clothes. Also, we were given some sweeties and, and uh, so, yeah, some sweeties for kids for hospice. And we already uh, delivered these sweeties for these kids and so on. I didn't uh, remember all the days, all the action which we provided during this week because there are a lot of them, a lot of it. Uh, and I sorry, I, I can uh, forget something or somebody. So I apologize for this. So, uh, our plans uh, are the same. We have to collect uh, some donations, some own monies to have an, an opportunity to buy products and uh, new uh, portions of medicine, new parts of medicine. We believe that we will be able to do it next week, the first weeks of September, the first week of this autumn. 2023 and we will be and we will deliver it to people who are waiting for it right now as usual nothing new so i appreciate your help i appreciate your donate i appreciate your subscribing your uh, comments your email uh, your donation and so on and so on please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel please do follow me in instagram in facebook in youtube uh, you may you may uh, donate me some your money uh, using PayPal or bank card. Uh, you may write some messages for residents of Kharkiv, uh, for civilians of Kharkiv. Yes. While you donate, and we will uh, transfer these messages to people who need care and all this donation also. So this is shortly about all news in Ukraine. We keep fighting, we keep uh, delivering in our victory. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for your uh, time. See you next week and goodbye.